Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, we're gonna take a look at part two of programming a universal remote to control an Apple TV. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to part two of programming a universal remote to control an Apple TV. In the first video, we looked at programming just the basic buttons of the universal remote. In this video, we're gonna take a look at programming the playback buttons. So let's get started. First, let's click on the Apple TV settings icon. And on this menu, we're going to scroll down to remotes and devices. On the next menu, we're going to scroll down past remote app and devices. We're going to go down to where it says learned remotes. And right underneath that, you'll see here's the Bose remote that we programmed in the first video. So let's select the Bose remote. And we have options here to rename the remote. We could reset up the basic buttons if we're not happy with what we did the previous video. But here we're going to focus on setting up the playback buttons. So let's choose set up playback buttons. And just like in the first video, on the screen you see the buttons that correspond to the Apple TV's remote uh, playback setup. We're going to have to press the corresponding buttons on the universal remote to set up each of these buttons on the screen. So I'm going to begin by pressing the play button on my remote control, my universal remote that is, and I'm gonna hold that button until the horizontal bar fills up all the way across, release, and proceed to the next button. Once this is done with all the buttons on the screen, your universal remote will be fully programmed, not only with the basic features, but also with the playback features as well. I'm just going to do the first two buttons for you. I'm not going to take you through each one since you've gone through hopefully the first video and you understand the process. So here we go. Let's program the play button. Release. And let's program the pause button. Release. I'll stop the video now, guys, and you just have to know to continue all the buttons on the screen to get your universal remote program. Okay guys, so hopefully you were able to complete the process without any issues and your universal remote is working properly. So that's about it guys for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and put any comments you have down below. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.